Hey there, this is Jason from Shop Circle, and today in this video, we'll be going over all the options you can create using the Bold Product Options app and uh, showcasing them to you on a live product so that you know exactly which options you need for what you want to do uh, for your own store. All right, let's get started. So I'm in my store here, and uh, I have the options already created. So um, when you do go and create your options, uh, you want to make sure you're in option sets. And by the way, a good thing to note is that we don't have any limits on how many options you can create. Uh, so uh, you can create as many as you feel need you need for uh, your store and your products. All right, so we'll be going over all the types here. That includes drop down menus, check boxes, radio buttons, swatches, scrollable list, text inputs. Uh, we're not covering all the text inputs, but uh, as you can see there, there are short text, paragraph text, short text group, number, email, color, date, and telephone, as well as file upload and descriptive text. So uh, we are in the live um, store here for my demo and um, I have this washing machine product and as you can see it has a lot of options here I've uh, filled out uh, most of the options that you'll see um, that we have so we'll be going over them now so first one here we have a option for a checkbox with extended warranty so if customers choose to uh, opt in for the extended warranty at an extra cost, they can check that off there. Uh, generally, for checkbox options, if, if you need that uh, feature there, it's uh, pretty handy for anything that's a yes or no opt in for an additional cost. Uh, next, on uh, who are you buying this for? We have radio buttons. So you can see radio buttons is the circle and then uh, when it's highlighted and selected, it'll light up. Um, so this is kind of how the radio button display works. And of course, um, it's, it's another way of uh, collecting information from your customers uh, as a different style as compared to the checkbox. Next up, we have the drop down menu so great thing with the drop down is that the list can expand and um, it opens up the separate window there so on the product page real estate page real estate here it's a little bit low as uh, the menu is in a different um, uh, different window here so good choice to pick if you are concerned about having a lot of options and um, saving space there. So next one is a text input. This is for phone number only. Uh, however, it does not verify if the number is correct, but only accepts numbers for the box there. So if you see, I tried to type in any type of text, it will recognize that it's not a number and it will say not a valid telephone number. Uh, so if you are selling any products where you need to collect a number, that's where the text input for a phone number comes into play there, and uh, you can collect that information. So this message here is a descriptive text. In this case, uh, we present it as a supply chain issue, letting customers know what the issue is and providing them a number to reference. So uh, if you have anything similar or a message you want to give to your customers there, um, that's another handy option to have. Uh, next one here is text input for date. Uh, so um, collecting a date input could be beneficial for you in terms of what you're selling if you're doing any sort of delivery. So um, if you do need to collect that information, an example of that would be uh, a delivery service perhaps for food or 
flowers, things like that are example. And next one is color input. So uh, if you want your customers to kind of customize uh, the product and choose what kind of color they want for their product, that's kind of where this box comes into play. So it's a little box here where they can have the color spectrum and choose exactly what they want. Next one here, this is a premium option. It's called swatches. So um, with this here, as you can see, there's a image associated with, um, with each option. So handy to have if you are selling anything where you want to include an image with an option. Uh, swatches would be your best bet for that. As you can see in this example here, we're asking the customer to choose their finish at a choice of wood, stainless steel, or aluminum for the uh, washing machine. Next one is file upload. This one's pretty popular um, if you're doing any type of engraving or if you need to collect a image from your customer, uh, perhaps you're a tattoo artist, uh, doing embroideries, things like that, perhaps even screen printing a t-shirt, um, file upload would be a great option to have for that. This is scrollable list. Um, so scrollable list is a great option too. If you have, um, you know, a big list of options to choose from, it saves on paid real estate. As you can see, there's a bar here where customers can kind of scroll between and choose what what they want. Uh, like phone number, uh, we have email text box as well. So this is dedicated for emails. Once again, it doesn't verify if it's a valid email or not. However, uh, only email inputs could be accepted here. So as you can see, if I just type that, it will say not valid email address. And same thing for number inputs. All right, so that is it there. Um, that pretty much covers most of the options besides the other few text inputs. Uh, for those, they are pretty self-explanatory. So if you do need those options, um, then you would be uh, able to set that up and uh, have a use case for that there. That concludes this video. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.